let's apply this here in the amplitude we should loop over the indices of the amplitudes so for e in amplitude dot indices Let's copy here and also these variables, put them here. And the left is SW minus E times W plus D, as we said. The top still the same, the right still the same, and the bottom should be amplitudes. at the eighth position. Let's define the D here. Set it to six. And now we should, we should see some great changes. So since each time we're calling this method, we are adding all the rectangles in the spikes, then we should clear it first. and repopulate it here. So let's start this. Start recording and we have our spikes just as we like them or nearly as we like them. But that is the thing. It is not moving anymore once the end of the screen is reached. That's because we're drawing all the amplitudes and once the width of the screen is occupied, is filled, then other spikes are drawn here where we can't see them. So we need to tell it just to draw on the last X elements that can fit in the screen. So we know that our screen has a SW width and to know how many elements we can fit in, we divide it by the space occupied by each element and that is W plus D. Hence, let's add another variable and call it max spikes initialize it to zero and in the init define it max spikes equals sw divided by w plus d and two ints okay now in the amplitudes we need only the last max amplitudes so them in a new variable and get amplitudes dot last or take last max spikes. Okay, now we should see an improvement, but since the amplitude is too big to have something drawable on a 400 pixel height view we need to normalize the value before we put it in so var norm equals simple math formula min minimum between the amplitude dot to int divided by 7 and 400 the size of the screen and convert it to float um, we're missing a parenthesis here. And there is another one here to float. And instead of adding amp, add norm. Let's rerun this again. And start recording. It's looking better. And also, let's wait for it. It's not moving. Because we didn't change this. It's amps. And here too, it's amps. That should do it. Uh, restart again. 
and start recording we have our spikes as I speak and nothing if I stopped and on top of this it is moving great now another thing I'd like to have is to center them here so this is pretty easy instead of starting at zero we should start at a optimized position here so let's draw something else here let's see this is the center if I want to draw this here we should start at the center minus the height divided by 2 so let's add this here in the top let's get screen height divided by 2 minus amps divided by 2 and the bottom should be set to actually top plus the height let's run this again and that's it so we're done with this video in the next one we will deal with these two buttons here so see you then